Hey everybody, Derek here, and I'm back to talk about the new Call of Duty update 1.6. And in this update, we were giving Alliance Wars. We're also giving new achievements, new quests. We also have Alliance Enhancements. We have new decorations. We have additional customization, also additional improvements. Um, there's been a couple changes in this update, but the main change that I'm going to talk about right now in this video is the war update. So now if you notice in your bottom right corner, you now have a a uh, alliance war button and then on mine it says two days two hours okay now we're on day one day one is preparation day and if you go in if you go into it uh you notice it, it doesn't really look like clash of clans but you get the understanding of it uh if you play clash of clans and this is pretty much my alliance right here. This is all of us. And just like Clash of Clans, we can go in. You can go in here and you can tap an alliance member's name and you can support your alliance. So you can give them troops that they need uh, to give them support in the war. Now, what team members can also do, if you give crappy troops, we also have the ability to delete those troops. Okay. And um, for me, I consider crappy troops is like assault troops i don't feel like something like assault troops uh or something big that should be used in war i mean you're defending your base against a another human opponent who's probably going to try to attack you with everything that they have and i truthfully wouldn't want the little alliance or the little um assault or grunts running in there trying to defend my base because to me they're actually the weakest troop okay now, as you see in here, here's my war timer in the top left corner. Up at the top, you see uh, the star, stars level. Okay, we have 75, 75. We both have zero out of 75 because war hasn't started yet. Um, lower left corner, you have your home button. You also have your info button, which if you click your info button, it will give you all the info needed to understand Alliance War. Now, with the first overview, uh, first of all, in order to be in alliance war, you must be in alliance. So you might want to join an alliance if you're not in one. Other than, other than that, you will not be in an alliance war. Okay. On the first day, you pretty much just give support to your troops. You pretty much um, strategize uh, is, is how I see the first day. You strategize. You build your base, uh, your war base, and you change it around. You get your reinforcements. Uh, from your, your other teammates and you pretty much just get ready for the war that's coming now number two is battle day on battle day you just go in and destroy each other you get two attacks each two attacks just like clash of clans you get two attacks uh per t per person on your team so when i attack i get to attack twice and each of my teammates get to attack twice now after the score is tallied up and everything's done you have rewards day which is where all the rewards will be given out to the losers and the winners the same um everybody wins in the end so that's pretty much what's in the info uh, you have like I said, your home button to go back home. You have your reinforcements button. Now, your reinforcements button shows what troops were given to you. Now, I recently had this full, but somebody gave me troops that I didn't approve and I didn't like. So, I deleted all those troops. Um, I felt they weren't troops that were good for war. So, I deleted those troops. At the bottom, you have your slots, your war slots right here. And you get one war slot. In this war slot, you go in here and you create your war base. Now, where if you don't change your war base, it will use the base that you currently have as your war base. So if you want to go in there and you think that you should have a totally different base for war compared to the base that you have uh, for regular play, you can go in here and you can change it, change your war base around and get that set up the way you like it. Now, you also have advanced gear at the bottom. Now, here you can get advanced gear for either yourself, which gives you enhancements, or you can give it for your whole squad. Now, for your whole squad, it costs 2000 but for yourself, it only costs uh, 60. So, I mean, it's up to you. If you have somebody that's in your clan and they have enough points or enough, uh, if they have enough to spread for the whole team, then I guess that'll work out too. But that's all up to you and your alliance and how you guys um, plan on doing things. And in your top right where it says win bonus, this is where you, it'll show you all your information of what you won, things like that. And... You have your overview button. This overview button will show you the battles, who you're against, who you're playing. It'll show you offensive results, defensive results, the results of the whole battle. And right now, we're going to be fighting against uh, Fighter's Realm. So we're going to see how this comes out. We both have full chances when we also have a, we both have a full clan. So we have full clans of 
25. They have a full clan of 25, so this ought to be an interesting uh, first battle. Now here under battles, you see this is my whole team and their, their stats right now and how many times they attack and things of that nature. And that's basically that. Um, oh, if you click over here on enemies, you can go over to your enemy side and here you'll be able to go through and uh, you can visit their base and, you know, things like that. Like I said, if you play COC, uh, you should be able to get into the swing of this easily. And, you know, I'm a COC player, so I pretty much get the full understanding of how this is going to work. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. So... Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys uh, like the Alliance War idea? Do you think this is something that uh, was a good thing to be added? Because I think it was a great thing. I mean, I think this brings something more to a game that I already liked from the beginning. And this is something. I mean, the more the more things you add to a game, um, it keeps your players' interest. Uh, after a while, I can easily lose interest to a game. If, we, if it starts to seem repetitive and I really have no meaning on why I'm playing it, uh, in the end, sometimes I usually slowly just, you know, get away from it. Now, with this added, I'm going to really love jumping in here. And plus, as I have I have a stand up alliance, I really like my alliance that I'm in. I know it's going to be uh, I know something that's going to be fun. And it's not something where we're going to be like, oh, we're, we don't want to do alliance war. I'm pretty sure we're going to be real involved in this. So let me know what you guys think about the new alliance war. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to talk about. Anything else you want me to point out. And once again, this is Derek. And I'll see you guys next video for Call of Duty Heroes. Peace.